Okay, another subscriber request, this time for Alfie Booker, for CIC video, x videos. Let's have a look. So you've got the perfect weapon with Jeff Speedman, one of those 90s straight-to-video action films uh, with a martial artist in. It's a pretty good one, this one. Only 81 minutes, so it flies by, but there you go, nice CIC label. Uh, yeah. Then we've got the Naked Gun 2.5, one of the... The yellow sleeves and the funny background. Pause it to your heart's content. But there we go. Nice of them to label the box. And then, yeah, this one's one of the oldest I've got. Naked Gun, so it's pretty much the same as the other one. Except this one was 1988. Different box. It'll stay shut. Then K9, the better of the two cop and dog films of that year. This one's more fun, at least. And the dog doesn't die. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and it's got Ed O'Neill from Marido Children in it. Barely though. Blinking, you miss him. Then the man without a tumor. Kindergarten cop. Uh, some bastards stamped on the cover to ruin it. Uh, there we go. It's a 15 certificate, but it's a little kiddies film. Or is it? Uh, this one I haven't seen, but look, looks like it's a young Carrie Elways before uh, Princess Bride. So it's got the old blank PG thing, and who is the woman? She looks very familiar. 135 minutes, oh, so it's cracking in there. Helen Bonacart, I thought so. Uh, but directed by Trevor Nunn, 1985, so this is actually maybe my oldest CIC tape. Oh, no. Eddie Murphy, I nearly tried to do the laugh, but can't do it justice. A great film, playing four guys. Uh, it's still a great fun. Nearly two hours of film as well. Caprice. No, it's in Capricorn video. Then we've got Cop Dundee 2. Yeah. Actually, a pretty solid sequel. But reverses the location of the first one. So that was a good idea. And we've got Back to the Future 2 from 90. Or was it? I think this came out in 90. Yeah, the film was 89, wasn't it? But I think. Took a while, some bastards took the label off this one. But it is there, because we watched it in the watch party. And finally, a big flop. This now came out on Boxing Day, at Christmas time, in uh, the year it came out, 90. And it didn't do well. It's not a terrible film, but it's just not very funny. Especially towards the end, if you know what happens to Elias Cotus. So, there we go. Thank you for watching. Here, end the lesson.